Now you're going to think this is the most batshit question you've ever heard, but your grandkids might thank me. Okay, well you don't have to... Language matters to me. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... They didn't know me that good. Got a question for you related to travel and tourism. Uh, did you hear about this incident where I guess a lady was trying to maintain one of, I guess it was one of your rest stops uh, that had been at least temporarily closed down. And she was apparently threatened by one or more of the bureaucracies here for doing that on her own dime. Have you heard about this? I'm not, I'm not aware of that. Do you think the public should be allowed to help maintain things without taxpayer expense? Well, I think that there are policies and procedures in place and we kind of have to follow the rules, right? So, well, is it run. better to follow the rules than it is, to, or is it worse to follow the rules than it is to tax the people and make them pay for those race rest stops? Or the repair thereof? Are you a state rep? Oh, okay. Uh, I got a question for you in that case. Um, one of the fastest ways, to, it's Ridley, really report com. Uh, one of the fastest ways to massively increase the amount of trade going between Quebec and New Hampshire would be simply to remove all restrictions on marijuana. What are you doing to make that happen? I don't know what anything massive could do. You don't think it would have an effect? Are you a state rep? Yes. A uh, question for you. Uh, were you on the floor the other day when Representative Aldrich was forced to stop filming or asked to stop filming? Yes. Uh, did you vote in favor of making him stop? I don't even remember that we took a vote, to be honest with you. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. That could be a mistake on my part, because there hasn't been any media attention to this, and I haven't been able to read much about the incident. Yeah. you support stopping him from filming? Um, if I were sitting behind him, I'd be very annoyed. Do you think he should be able to record with the camera in his lap? What are you going to get a picture of the seat? <laughs> All right, thanks. And I know it. Could I ask what department you're with? Uh, I'm with the congresswoman's office. Oh, uh, which uh, congressman? A fair woman, if I might ask. Which one? Okay. Is it right to work for the federal government? Do you receive a taxpayer salary? What, if anything, have you done from your position of power to make sure that the United States is not torturing people? How you doing? How about the same? Question for you, Representative. Now, you're going to think this is the most batshit question you've ever heard, but your grandkids might thank me. Okay, well, you don't have to... Language matters to me, so okay. All right. Um, what are you doing, if anything, uh, from this board to get the federal government out of New Hampshire so we can be rid of their flying car rules? Yeah, you know, I, that's an answer. That's a question that can't really be answered in any objective per way in the time frames that we're talking about. But suffice it to say that I do believe there's a proper role for government to make our lives better. And part of that is our Constitution, which I support. And part of that Constitution requires that the federal government be involved. And like it or not, there is no substitute for the term batshit. Egypt people is very nice, and if the Egypt people take my advice, they will strike down the one party state they fear. But that had better not happen here, cause we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene, and sort of kind of cut spending. Cause the government needs some expensive things like the wasteful 34 West building and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers and other people who could be considered swearers 
freaking.com.